summit. It's kind of smart now. You, you, you kind of think that they were already deciding on the Morphling when you see that Disruptor ban beforehand on the fourth ban. Maybe they were just kind of... As it is, he's going for a second point in Dragon Blood just to try and help salvage his lane a bit. Lil. I mean, <laughs> well, it's, well, it's Lil's support. I mean, you, you can't expect anything less. A bit of a gold boost that really salvages the fact he was getting beaten in this mid lane. Top lane as well. Look at Bash's offlane plays. He's getting the CS and he is getting the levels. It seems that because you have Zai... Dragonites struggle a bit yesterday in some of the games. Uh, they can fall behind very quickly if they get ganked once or twice. Ooh, and there we have a bit of trouble around the bottom rune. Zai he tried to nab it. He's not going to get it. It's going to be VP that turned that around in the face of Zai. He gets this early farm. That's such a good rotation from Dragon. He doesn't have a bottle. I, I imagine Zai's not expecting to be there because he has no bottle. Why would he go for oh, that move? And mid lane Pasha has come into the early rotation. Zai is there, so it's going to make it pretty hard for Vivi to find anything out the back of this. In fact, Lil in trouble. Puts a fair fire. It's not enough. It's a male app. Get that. It was, I, they were hoping that they could do that perhaps before the IRE mm -hmm. spawn, but he was ready to. Pasha kind of paying out to easy here, and then oh, he's going to be fine there. Thanks. A little bit of a bait and switch. That's two male up for success. He's going in aggressive for a kill here. And Lil, is there to kind of offer a bit of backup? A quick turn towards Lil, punching him down, Zai. He's come across to back up some male. Lil's actually just going to focus down the IO, and Zai's in trouble. No one with the breathe fire picks up the IO kill. They kept alive there, so it's not the end of the world. Nurse with an invis rune could threaten no one's life here. No mm -hmm. mana for a stun this time. Yeah, and with Zai coming across the world, the extra chase potential, no one will be taken down. So as soon as they lose Zai, as soon as he's back, he's going to be perhaps easier if they just get a kill rather than try and sneak it. Put yourself in a situation where VP is not contested. He's got the hook shot here, that's what the initial's done. And with the pack control, Lil can't seemingly cast anything. And EG. Yeah, this is uh, almost impossible to stop. They could try and snipe They don't have Ice Blast, so it's missing on level 5. No one's going to lead him with the Dragon Tail, but immediately Universe coming in with a hook shot onto Sol on the back line. Raptor's coming across the world, takes down the cogs, looks towards Universe, but Universe already TP'd out. And at the end of the day, it's EG getting the Roshan, getting the Aegis, and getting out of there, and it... Now, it's EG just working down the tier one up top. Crit on the mid at the moment with the living armor. Does have a universe in the neighborhood as well. Hook shot at the ready, so if EG want to jump, they certainly can strive for it. Easy yet to join. VP. Looks like they're on the verge of finishing off this tier one in the universe. He's straight underneath this, uh, this warp. He's going to jump into solo. Put the ice blast immediately on Samael. Samael tries to top that one, but likely to jump inside. No one. Samael just turns towards the DK, takes him down instead. They'll lose the Aegis and they will lose Zai, but they find the kill not only just onto no one, but to Basher as well. And Samael, he's not done yet. He's looking for Ramses. And so over the phase boot. Seems to be a little too speedy. He slows down Samael with the upper wound for Zai. He's come in. He's backing up Samael. He's relocated across to enable Samael to find the kill. And EG there! The sense of mind to check that out, cancel the TP, and, and cause VP again to just have to play Samela around EG. Top. He's found Pasha. Pasha, he's a very, very close to his blink dagger as well. That's a big kill as we're talking about that. VP does have backup in the neighborhood. Universe doesn't have a hook shot though. But they're bringing over Samael and Zai. Ramsey's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to be jumped on immediately. He tries to rage and run, but Chris there with the old holding the line killer in place. And at 8 to 4, Zig's gonna bring him down, so Artur will walk that one off. And that's the blink reveal done. And it didn't find that crucial kill. They're still trying to play around this universe. Holding up the hook shot comes across, disrupting the side of the fight here. Samael comes with an off to Ramses. Ramses raises for Ramses. He has to run. Hold in place by the roof. Quick with the control of his team fight. Sort of now being focused by Samael. Artur comes across with the new to blow him down. Samael fights the triple. They've taken down four. Some of their grouped up. Now universe comes in. He does get Dragon Tail, but just with the cogs controlling Lil and no one. Crit with a huge overgrowth there. He's holding him in place. Yeah. And they've actually just caught it. They've actually just caught it. Ramses is out. Oh, I can't believe it. If you told me game one of today was going to end within 16 minutes, I would not have believed you. But Evil Genius is with what I think was the quickest win we've seen on the main stage here so far. I'm speechless. This is the VP team that people talked about, hyped up as being this behemoth of a team. Wow. So hard to beat, so hard to figure out. EG, they figured them out here in game one. You've got to hope if you're in VP's shoes, they've got a plan B. You really, really have. I mean, we sometimes talk about these, these sort of GG's that come tentatively early.